I fixed a carpet tear in my car. Shown on the right are two photos, a before and an after. Here's the before. I started just by vacuuming out two years of accumulated dirt under this tear. After the vacuuming, the red chassis metal could be seen. I got a piece of automotive carpet underlayment, i.e. padding, it's just a felt-like material, and a piece of black automotive carpet from a local automotive upholstery shop. I just needed a small piece of underlayment, so that's seen here, already cut. Then I cut out a piece of carpet to cover the tear. Note this little rounded corner that's needed to clear the seat anchor mechanism. Then I used a hot glue gun and glue sticks to secure everything in place. Some cautions I had to be aware of were a hot glue gun gets very hot. So I didn't lay it on any carpet or upholstery or any other flammable material and I didn't put it near any flammable liquids. So not on upholstery, not on carpet, and when I was doing the work I just laid it on the concrete driveway beside my car. Also, I was aware that hot glue could cause third degree burns, so I had to be mindful of that. I did a test strip here on my kitchen counter just to see how much glue I needed to apply to the underlayment. I did the same thing for the carpet, again, just to see how much glue I needed to apply. This was just for testing and these pieces were not used for the final patching. Next was to put some hot glue on the small underlayment piece and push it completely through the tear and press it against the chassis metal until the hot glue cooled and held the underlayment in place. So that underlayment was fully behind the tear. Next was to apply approximately a one half inch wide strip of hot glue across the carpet patch. I had to stay away from the edges. I started with the end closest to the center console. Then I carefully aligned the carpet patch and pressed it down until the glue cooled and locked it into place. Then I folded the patch back and applied the next approximately one half inch wide strip of hot glue and then pressed it into place until the glue cooled. I repeated this procedure across the full carpet patch until it was fully glued into place. There were two key takeaways. One, keep the hot glue away from the edges so it did not squeeze out from under the carpet, under the patch, thereby making an ugly, unremovable spot. And two, work in small sections since the hot glue cooled quickly and there was not much working time. Here's the result. And another photo with the floor mat in place and the work completed in July of 2020. Now, nearly two years later in June of 2022, this patch is still firmly in place. Only a small spot at one corner started to lift where the, the glue let go. But that spot is so small, I'm not even bothering to re-glue it. Note that this patch was placed at a relatively low stress area. If the patch were placed at a high stress area where someone is constantly stepping in and applying foot pressure, I don't know if this patch would have held up. Had this been the case, I would have talked to an automotive upholstery shop for recommendations. See the notes section for links to materials and tools used in this video. And if you found this video helpful, then please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching.